Hey everyone, welcome to Logan Smosh Pick. Glad to have you here. Do me a favor and please subscribe if you haven't already. Jim Bishop once said, A good writer of history is a guy who is suspicious. Speaking of history, get ready to experience a blast from the past on music history. During each episode of music history, I will tell you about some interesting music events that have happened today, June 28th. I wish we had enough time to delve into everything that transpired today, but we don't. Therefore, I slice the list down to 10 critical moments. I put them in chronological order. Let's begin. First, on this day in 1945, the proud basis for pro call harem David Knights drew his first breath. Happy birthday, David. On this day in 1961, Metal Church's mighty guitar player Kurt Vanderhoof entered the world. Happy birthday, Kurt. On this day in 1963, Charlie Clouser was born. He brought his keyboard chops to Deftones, Nine Inch Nails, Typo Negative, and White Zombie. Happy birthday, Charlie. On this day in 1968, Pink Floyd unveiled their second studio album, which they dubbed A Saucer Full of Secrets. Sadly, it ended up being the last album Sid Barrett would help create before he went off the deep end mentally. Even after Sid departed Pink Floyd, his presence continued to weigh heavily on his bandmates, particularly while brainstorming new lyrics. Also on this day in 1968, Jefferson Airplane appeared on the cover of Life magazine, paired with a flattering headline that read, Jefferson Airplane, top rock group music that's hooked the whole vibrating world. Each magazine costs 35 cents. On this day in 1970, at the Bath Festival of Blues and Progressive Music, a tremendous lineup that featured Country Joe, Dr. John, Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention, Hot Tuna, Jefferson Airplane, Led Zeppelin, Santana, The Birds, and The Moody Blues teamed up to put on a stellar show. They probably left spectators feeling stunned. On this day in 1974, Elton John released his Caribou album. It struggled to escape the shadow of its immense predecessor, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. However, Caribou wasn't that bad from a standalone perspective. It still offered a couple staple songs, Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me, and The Female Dog Is Back. On this day in 1986, the prominent pop group Wham, which consisted of George Michael and Andrew Ridgely, performed at Wembley Stadium in front of an estimated 75,000 fans. It turned out to be Wham's final concert. At least they went out on a high note. By the time Wham broke up, they had sold around 40 million records. On this day in 2010, Bill Coyne, who managed both Kiss and Billy Idol throughout his career, passed away following an unsuccessful operation that was intended to treat his prostate cancer. Rest in peace, Bill. Finally, on this day in 2016, Elvis Presley's guitarist from the onset, Scotty Moore, met his demise. He can be heard on legendary tracks such as Blue Suede Shoes, Heartbreak Hotel, Hound Dog, and Jailhouse Rock. He was 84 years old. Rest in peace, Scotty. Well, that's it. What's your favorite thing that occurred on June 28th? Let me know in the comments. That does it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate the support. I'll see you next time. Till then, rock on.